Good evening. I'm Dr. Sujata Alwani. I am DN Pediatric Cardiology Resident from Amrita Hospital, Kochi. I'm presenting Segmental Approach to Cardiac Diagnosis, a Prenatal Case Scenario. This is a 25-year-old primary gravida lady referred to us for fetal echo for suspected fetal CHD at 33 weeks of gestation. The pregnancy is a natural conception with from a non-consanguineous marriage, no maternal or fetal risk factors were noted and no extra cardiac abnormality detected in the anomaly scan. We started our examination by determining the situs of the fetus. The left and right side of the fetus are marked on all the slides. The stomach is on the left and liver is on the right, suggestive of situs solitus. This is the four chamber view which is showing levocardia with normal offsetting of the tricuspid valve with two balanced ventricular ventricles with good ventricular function. The, the four chamber color view shows normal mitral and tricuspid inflows. The pulmonary veins were seen draining to the left atrium and SVC and IVC to the right atrium. The outflow tract view showed a large defect in the interventricular septum and conoventricular region suggestive of a conoventricular VST and the first outflow tract seen overriding the VST. Here the first outflow tract is seen overriding the VST and it is bifurcating suggesting that it is pulmonary artery and not iota. Once again, we can see the first outflow tract, with, uh, which is pulmonary artery as it is bifurcating. Here both outflows are seen where the iota is to the left of the pulmonary artery. This is the three vessel view where usually three vessels are visualized from left to right in the order of pulmonary artery, iota and SVC. However, in this case, only two vessels are seen, that is the iota and SVC. The pulmonary artery is not visualized as pulmonary artery is much posterior and not visualized in this plane. This is the three-vessel tracheal view, where we can see the aortic arch and ductal arch forming a V-shaped confluence at the level of isthmus. This is essentially a normal three-vessel tracheal view. The great artery relationship is beautifully seen in this uh, echo loop where we can see the iota is anterior and to the left of pulmonary artery suggestive of L post iota. The aortic arch was normal. This is the inversion mode stick rendering of the fetal heart. Iota is seen arising from the right ventricle and pulmonary artery is seen overriding the VST marked by the star. Iota is anterior and to the left of main pulmonary artery, suggestive of transposition of great arteries with L post iota. So the complete segmental diagnosis is situs solitus with levocardia, AV, AV concordance with D-looped ventricles, normal systemic and pulmonary venous drainage and conoventricular VST, transposition of great artery with iota left and, out, and left and anterior with no obstruction. The diagnosis was confirmed by postnatal echo showing transposition of great arteries with iota anterior and to the left of pulmonary artery. The significance of transposition of great arteries with L post iota is that it is very rare in occurrence. The incidence is 2.9% of all TGA cases in the cardiac registry of Boston Children's Hospital. Secondly, because of the L post iota, the diagnosis may be confused with uh, congenitally corrected transposition of great arteries. However, in CCTGA, there is uh, atrioventricular concordance as well as uh, ventricular arterial con dis There is uh, discordance at both uh, atrioventricular and ventricular arterial levels. However, in TGA, there is only discordance at the level of ventricular arterial level. Embryologically, this is a malformation of the corners as well as the ventricular segment. So, high prevalence of uh, RV hyperplasia and ventricular malposition is seen. Also, the L post iota is because of the levorotation of the infundibular arterial segment. So, the greater the levorotation, greater is the probability that the VST will be subiotic, there will be pulmonary outflow tract stenosis and that the conal septum will be hypoplastic. 
So the associations of uh, TGSTL were beautifully described by uh, Puyal et al. in 1995, where they described that uh, BST is typically present in 96% of the uh, cases, and that is conoventricular in location. And also corneal septal malalignment is seen in 80% of the patients with pulmonary outflow tract stenosis in 27% of the patients. Half the cases were noted to have RV hypoplasia and ventricular malposition was seen in 23% of the cases. And also an absent left coronary iostium resulting in single right coronary artery was seen. All these uh, associations uh, are important for surgical consideration and usually the flowchart for management of TGSTL is that when there is no pulmonary stenosis, the babies will go for arterial switch for arterial switch operation and single right coronary should be uh, taken care of and when there is pulmonary stenosis the treatment would be LV2 iota tunneling with reconstruction of RVOT. VST is usually large and the routing is easy to do whereas when there is a restrictive VST the resection of conal septum could be needed. These two cartoons are beautiful representation of transposition of great artery with L post iota. In the first cartoon we can see single right coronary artery with absence of left coronary ostea and also we can see in the second um, diagram where there is a posterior and leftward deviation of the coronal septum and a large conoventricular VST. These are my references. Thank you. I especially thank my mentor Dr. Balu and uh, the organizers for giving me this opportunity.